Hello video editors my name is Sali Ali. Welcome to Sali Tutorials. In this video I am going to show you 3 fake camera movements in Filmora X. This video is going to be very useful for you, because when you have a video that has no moments in it. As you can see in this video, on the left side we have the video which has no moments etc, and on the right side is the video which we later converted into fake camera moments. So let's learn today's 3 great fake camera moments. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. So let's get started. At number 1 we learn this fake camera movement, awesome and very useful for all video editors. So I have a video in the media for that. I drag and drop this video into the timeline. I have video something like this. This video is about 10 seconds long. Double click on the video. Go to the animation tab and click on it. And then on customize. Add a keyframe to start. And increase the scale in this keyframe according to your video. I increase the scale in this keyframe to 139. And then adjust the position, and select the start position of the video. I put the starting position on this man. Move the playhead 2 seconds forward. And add an empty keyframe here. Move the playhead forward for a half or a second. And here's a keyframe to add. Adjust the position with the help of position X in this keyframe, and move it straight to another position. The way I moved from the first position to this girl's position. Move the playhead 2 or 3 seconds forward. And add an empty keyframe here. Move the playhead 1 second forward. And reduce the scale a bit in this keyframe. And adjust the position in such a way that the previous two positions appear on the left and right side of the screen. Move the playhead 1 or 2 seconds ahead of the previous keyframe. And reset the scale and position in this keyframe. So with that our first fake camera is movement ready. Secondly, the fake camera movement we are going to create is also very beautiful to look at and easy to make. Something like that. I have a video in the media for that. I drag and drop this video onto the timeline. The video is something like this. Double click on the video. Go to the animation tab and click on it. And then on customize. Add a keyframe to the start of the video. First, rotate 180 in this keyframe. 
So you can see that we have this video flipped. Move the playhead to the end. And reset the rotation in this keyframe. So we have this video that will rotate something like this. But this movement is not complete here, we will make it more perfect. And we will zoom in and fax the black empty area that appears around the video. Place the playhead in the video center according to your video. And add a keyframe here. And increase the scale in this keyframe, so that the black area around the video disappears by zooming. So you can see the black area around the video is still visible. So let's fix it easily. Move the playhead between the first two keyframes. And extend this game in this keyframe too. After increasing the scale, we fix the black area of this part. The black area is also visible between the last two keyframes. So let's fix that too. Place the playhead between the last two keyframes. Add a keyframe here. Increase the scale in this keyframe as well. So that the black area around the video disappears. Okay. So with that our second fake camera movement is ready. Number 3, the fake camera movement we're going to create is something like this. I have a video for that. I drag and drop this video into the timeline. The video is something like this. The length of this video is about 12 seconds. Move playhead to start. Double click on the video. Go to the animation tab and click on it. And then on customize. And add a keyframe here. If you have a video like mine, it would be nice to zoom in on the video. Then you also increase the scale in this keyframe. And keep the position in a place where it feels good to zoom out. Move the playhead forward for 5 seconds. And add a keyframe here. Place the position in this keyframe where your correct scene is playing. Move the playhead forward for another 5 seconds. Add a keyframe here. Reset both scale and position in this keyframe. Okay. So with that our third fake camera moment is ready. I hope you like all three fake camera movements. If this video has helped you, please like this video. Subscribe to Solly Tutorials to watch more standard editing videos. If you want to visit my other channel, which is called Royal Solly. So I have given the link in the description. Take care yourself. Thanks.